Ángel Orfeja. Thank you, David McIntyre. Um, I have to say that your arguments from all sides have been both skillful and sophisticated, and I think your delivery has been well nigh perfect, so congratulations, David. Well, let us now start on the debate side. Um, now, I, as I said, I've got some people who have got pre-prepared um, points to make, but there must be others who may wish to intervene, so put your hand up and I will call on you. Uh, but let's start off with Alexander Stepanian, please, from the Combined Cadet Forces. Lord Speaker, fellow cadets and veterans, the UK has been a historically international country ever since the days of the Empire. And the responsibility this entails has been ingrained deeply into the public and political consciousness of our time. The First World War was a war of atrocities, but also a war for peace. The foundations of the greatest peacekeeping organizations came as a direct consequence of the Great War. The League of Nations, which later developed into the UN, was created to make sure history does not repeat itself, and Britain was at the helm along with Russia and the US. The promise of peace that the UK had pledged all those years ago is still being sustained today. We hold leading roles in NATO, we are part of G6, and we are internationally renowned as a peacekeeping nation. The UK has sent peacekeeping forces to Cyprus and Sudan, as well as the British peace support team in Kenya and Sierra Leone. As we look towards the future in a world which is becoming more integrated, more globalised by the minute, we see a UK that is more sensitive and willing to help those who have been let down by their nation. And it is this responsibility that lies at the heart of Great Britain. Thank you. Like to make a comment who's not a pre-prepared speaker. Yes, indeed. Can I take the person 